Hi, welcome to Awkward Amster. A little while ago, I got this slow cooker. Here is the brand name for it and the model. It was going for 40 bucks or so off Amazon. There's like a uh, little clip coupon too. Here's the user manual. The first couple pages are all about uh, safety instructions. Here's some part information here. And it's a very sparse manual. How to use. Operation is very simple. There's just three different modes. Low, high, and warm. Some cooking advice here. And here's cleaning and maintenance. It also came with this little warranty or thank you card. It comes with a two year warranty. Let me show some highlights on the box over here. Three heat settings, glass lid, rubber feet, pegs. Now there is no auto off for this. So currently it says it's off, low, high, and then keep warm. And here's a LED light. It's not that bright. I need to be just about at level to look at it, make sure that it's still illuminated. The power cord is extremely short. I'd say maybe two and a half feet to three feet in length. Here's that glass lid. ceramic pot inside. I opted for the oval shaped ones rather than the uh, like the round one. Some specs on the back over here. And it's got five rubber pegs on the bottom. I still have my six quart ninja slow cooker, but that takes up way too much room on the countertops. And also, I don't need to cook six quarts of food. It's, I'm just cooking for four adults here. 3.5 quart, more than enough. Making beef stew, meatballs, or in this case, ribs. I got this rack of ribs from ShopRite. I seasoned it with the maple BBQ rub. I poured sweet BBQ sauce on it before I placed it into the slow cooker. I did not add any water and I let it cook for on, on low heat. I was planning to let the ribs cook for eight hours, but at seven hours, I already saw that the meat was basically coming off the bone already. I don't want to cook it too much. So stopped it at seven and a half hours. It came up beautiful. Just the bone just simply slid off. It was still very juicy, very tender. Cleanup is very simple. I simply put a little bit of soapy water in here, let it soak for half hour before I wash it. Now, for those that don't want to go through that kind of uh, weight, just use a liner. On this side, right in front, it's about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. By the handle over here, 158 degrees. The handle is not too hot to the touch. I can still hold on to it. It's about 100. 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I can grip on both handles and move it to a different location if I needed to. The biggest con is that this has a very short power cord. It's like two and a half feet to three feet. It'd be nice if this had a timer, but it doesn't. That's not a big deal because this only costs 40 bucks. But overall, I, I still like it. Great for a family of four, 3.5 quarts. Very easy to clean, inexpensive, glass lid on top. It doesn't take up that much space on the countertop either. I'll place the link for this below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.